What's going on everybody? Welcome back to MD Fish Tanks. I'm MD and these are my fish tanks. All right guys, what have we got here then from Aquarium Gardens? Let's take it through into the other room. Oh, Christ, that's heavy. One, oh, two. All right, let's get them open and see what we've got. Why am I saying it like that? Let's just get them open. Not very good at this. Okay, in box number one we have, whoa. Big ass piece of Siriu stone. And another big ass, big, whoa, this is hard one handed. Get me dropped it. Cheers, Dave, Christ. I messaged Dave saying, Dave, any chance of a few big pieces of Siriu stone? And I didn't know they could be this big, but this is perfect. Look, and another big bit. Cool. Right, so basically what I'm gonna be doing, guys, in this tank here that we've now emptied is building the cave. Big pieces of stone, big overhangs, maybe just keep this light but bring it forward so that then it's shadowed cast into the cave. But well, we'll see how it goes. Right, so that's the rock sorted. Next thing I want to do is just make like a template for the base of the aquarium so I can build the rock up on that template because if I start building on this and anything slips off, it's going to smash it. I've done that before. God, please, no, no! I had to go straight out to the shop and buy another tank, which at the time was like quite costly. I didn't really have the money for, but I did it anyway, but you've got to do what you've got to do. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do that now. Make, make 600 by 400 centimeters cardboard base. I can build on top of that. And then hopefully I could just put those sections straight in when it's time to do it. All right, there's our base. Now we can start putting some rocks on it. hopefully you can see what I'm going for here. So it's just interesting, isn't it? It's like cracks, crevices everywhere. Um, I'm also gonna put a piece, bleh, I'm also gonna put a piece looping over the top in this way so it casts real dark shadows inside, but then there's that gap in the middle to go through if the fish want to do that. Right, so I've got this flooring sort of underlay that I'm gonna put underneath. Oh, whoa, that's a bit weird, hang on. Let me sort that out for you. No, no. Uh, light off, there we go. Yeah, so I've got this flooring underlay. So I'll just roll that out into the corners and place it where it needs to go, just so that there's not so much pressure on the glass. I mean, the, the bits that I've picked for the base are actually, let's take a look, quite flat anyway. See, that's sat nicely flat. That big piece there is one flat piece, so that should actually be all right, but it's still best just to lay something down. I don't want to put it on top of the sand because obviously sand can shift and, the last thing you want is it all falling apart. So I'll lay some of this down into all the corners and then put the rocks on top of that, but keeping it flat still. So that's the base protection in. You can see I've trimmed it away from the edge there and it's missing the side there. So the sand will go on the top and you won't see it at all. Um, but let's just take a look at what we've done. And it's important at this stage to either take a photo or, you know, cause I'm filming, I can use the video to look back on. But if you're happy with the scape you've set up, which I actually really am, I really like that. As you get lower, look, you can see there's so much detail going on there. And I think it does look like a little cave. Yeah, so, Always take a snapshot if you can, because it's quite hard to recreate it again. But now what we need to do, get it in the aquarium. Right, well I've had to change that slightly from how I originally showed you down there, because once, oh Christ. Well, it's good to know they're sturdy. <laughs> Once I stacked these up, they looked far too square in that corner. 
and also the viewing angle over here made it look really unnatural. Whereas now, look, you've got a nice indent. This is a bit of dead space, but that's all right. I can fill that out with sand and then gravel or, or something, just so it looks like the, the wall of the cave. But yeah, so the, I, the final piece now won't fit how it did, but that's part of scaping. You just have to adjust as you go along. So I'll see how that last bit fits, because it needs to sort of fill this void area here, I think, but that might be enough. We'll see how it goes. Well, I think that is looking fantastic. I mean, look at this big. Don't get me wrong, but you know what they say, go big or go home. And I've definitely gone for it with this one. So I think what we need to do now is get our sand in, get it looking a bit more like an actual finished hardscape than just a pile of rocks. <laughs> I'm already foreseeing that I'm gonna get a load of diatoms with this because a lot of serious stone and sand I'm gonna be using, some new sand, mostly old, but some new stuff as well. But pretty much as soon as I set up, I'm gonna get a load of auto cats and some nearite snails as well and just try and stop that as much as I can. But this, my little store area, the main sand I've got and you can see I've had it for a while because there's stuff collecting all on it but look how pure it is there's not a single bit of dust in that at all so that's going to be really nice to go in it's like a quartz sand and under the light it should look really nice as well it's quite a lot there although saying that there's those horrible little black bits in it from I guess aquasoil let's have a little squeeze I'll be able to tell if it's aquasoil because it will break up if I can actually get hold of any yeah see see it's all breaking up uh, maybe I don't want to use that then you can't really get that out really either. I've got some magnets that might work, but I'll be there forever. It's a shame. Oh well, I've got plenty of other options. Over here, in the actual other store, I've got this stuff which is brand new. I mean, that's still got flecks of black in it as well. Oh, screw it. It's only a little bit of black. It all adds texture. I'll go with it. I'll go with this stuff. Nice. Right, well, as I already showed you outside, I've got this sand to go in. It's not a huge amount there, so I might have to top it up with something else. Um, but also I've got the nutrition capsules from Tropica to go underneath this so that it's not just inert sand. There's actually some nutrients at the bottom then underneath this for the plants that I'm going to plant in the foreground area to actually grow. Um, you guys might have been thinking that the, is that safe to use that you know, foam that I've got there but yeah it is it's completely inert it's the same as you know polystyrene or expanded foam or whatever you want to call it really which is just inert, so once it's covered up, you won't even see it, it won't harm at all. But first of all, let's just get this sand in and just see where we are with that. I've just realized something. I put all of that in, which is good because it's just a small base layer, but I put all that in and I've still got loads of that gray sand left over from the, I'm pointing at the window, um, from the shed, studio, shed, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the goldfish aquarium. So I can get that in there because that actually goes really well with these stones. So that can then, this can be like, sort of like a base layer if you like. Maybe I can put some, uh, put some more of the capsules in on top of that and then I could put the other side on top because that isn't actually deep enough to plant anything in and I want to have the opening of the cave um, planted and some you know mosses on the top and there's some taller plants at the back here so limnophilia probably because it just grows so well um, but yeah so I need more than that and I've run out of all that stuff so it's perfect really put the grayer stuff on the top no 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 actually I've just put some in as a test it's too dark I do like this stuff I'm just going to go and buy some more and you know not be so cheap <laughs> and go get it right back in a bit right so we got the sand got it from pets at home which is like a chain store of stuff in the, in the uk a bit like your petco i guess in america uh, first of all i just want to wash off the rocks that have got sand onto them and then i can just pour this sand on top of that sand <laughs> why am i overcomplicating this it doesn't really need to be that complicated does it
so don't tell my wife that I'm using the kitchen <laughs> colander or sieve to clean this. Nailed it again, I think. That looks cool. It looks ultra real, if you ask me. Like, you can literally, if you zoom in like that, you're like underwater, aren't you? Well, maybe that's just me. <laughs> anyway, so we want to do some planting. I don't want to go heavy on this planting. I want it to be subtle, just a few sort of accents of green, um, except for that back area, which I'll stem right out because that will just help with water quality. I've got some plants already growing that I want to use. Let me show you. Yeah, so this is my little plant store. Um, it's all well, these plants that have been in here have actually been here quite a while now, so they would have already converted into their sort of what's that little piece? It's just a ugh, that's a rubbish bit. Anyway, these they've already converted. They should grow really well in the scape. Um, so I just want to use some smaller stuff though, like the hair grass. I think that'll look really good, and a bit of the these small crypts, which are crypt parva. Look, so they're like little baby crypts. Well, that, that's all got brand new growth on it, look. So that's obviously doing really well. So I can use those. Some other little crypts I can put in the background so that they'll grow nicely. This limnophilia, I'm going to put at the back as well. You won't see it really, but it's there for water quality, in my opinion, and it'll work really well for that. Right, look, look, I thought that this was gonna look good. Like, why else would you do something unless you thought it was gonna look good? But I didn't know it was gonna look as sick as this is turning out. Subtle, I don't want too much. And then all of a sudden, boosh, big bit of green in the background, but that'll grow up taller. But if I keep it sort of just peeking over, I think that should look really cool. Um, I'm gonna add some moss, some of my moss wrapped stones in as well, because I do like to do those, just little ones here and there, sort of like perched in little crevices, I think that'll look good. Rather than just gluing it on, I don't really like gluing it on. I just don't think it looks that great, to be honest. Um, so yeah, now I wanna do that. I wanna, I wanna get that moss out, get it wrapped on some rocks. So I keep saying it, but look sick. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> she always get, get got to get in the video, isn't she? She's just got to get in. <laughs> yeah, that's looking cool, isn't it, guys? So um, I'm a bit concerned about the amount of plants. So I don't think there's enough. So I'm just going to pack out this area here with some of the one, two grow range from Tropica. Oh, I'm hooked. Ow. There we go. With the one, one, two range, I've got some Hygrophila pinnatifida, which I will put. Let me show you. I'm gonna put this right down the back here. So you won't even see it to start with, but as it starts growing up the top, that's gonna to look really cool. Sort of like trees and embankment or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about really. Um, but then I've also got the Rotala bonsai and I did have, I swear I had some HRs. Well, oh, there it is, yeah. And some Rotala HR as well. So I've got, I've got these three. I'm just going to plant them. They've been in these pots too long. So even if they don't stay in there, they can get, stay in to grow and go on another scape at some point if need be. Mm -hmm. 
so that's all the planting done. It's looking sick, if you ask me. A nice gap in the middle for the, uh, let me turn the light off. There we go. That looks a bit more like it will actually look. Uh, I need to get the water in it now to make sure that these plants don't dry out. So let's get on with that. Right, so that's the tank full up with water and as you know from the previous video, well not the previous one but a previous video, um, I've got a filter already running in one of my other tanks that can go straight in here which means we can put fish in straight away. Well not straight away because I'm going to wait till another day to do that for another episode otherwise this is going to be way too long. But yeah, let's get that running so that everything's all healthy and good. So yeah, this is the filter. It's been running on the no filter tank uh, just to keep all the bacteria good so I can now switch that over. Right, so my phone died last night when I was uh, scooping it out the top, but it was a good time to end it anyway. So I've come down this morning, everything's looking great. I just need to do a nice big water change uh, and then we can add in something else. So that's the water change done. I'm looking at this tank thinking it's actually really bright, obviously with the lighter substrate and all the light reflecting off. So because the plants aren't established yet, I'm pretty sure we will get algae, like bad algae. So to combat that, I'm gonna put some duckweed in the top. You know I love duckweed. I just think it will look really cool as well to see it all rotating. And fortunately, I've got lots of duckweed. So let's go grab some. I've got tons of duckweed. I've got loads in there. I've got loads in there, in there, in there, 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 and there. So, yeah, just take a little bit from each and every one. Well, actually, no, <laughs> don't need that much. I'll just take a little bit and then put that in the top, and that should should help with the algae. It won't stop the algae in a new setup, but it will help, you know, things stop progressing badly and, and keep it manageable by... Because, uh, obviously, the duckweed uses the excess nutrients in the water to grow. And then you can take that duckweed out effectively you're just removing you know any any excess nutrients this tank's actually looking really good so this is our no filter cube there's a, a new episode will be coming on that once it's grown in a little bit more but look it's just carpeted I've not done anything really to this at all since i set it up i've not even done a water change but i do like the floating plants in this one the duckweed in this one's got those really nice roots i think that looks brilliant but it's starting to cover the lot, so I want to be able to get uh, light still down to the Monte Carlo below. So I'll take some of this stuff and put that in the new tank. <sighs> Okay, that's going to be it for this video guys this is kind of part one if you like because in the next episode we'll go get the fish i'll take to the shop it's quite a cool little shop so i'll show you some of the interesting stuff that they've got they've always got like interesting fish or interesting stuff if you haven't already click like click subscribe leave a comment all of that blah 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 and uh, i try to reply to all the comments i can uh, whilst that video is the the new the new video if you like so yeah i hope you enjoy this one and i'll see you soon